This demonstration is to review the Soldier Talent Management Work Center. I am going to log in as a soldier. Upon logging in, I will be presented with the self-service fluid homepage. Each soldier will also have a Talent Management Soldier Work Center fluid tile. When clicking the tile, the user is presented with the Work Center. The Work Center is broken up into two parts. The left side is the menu navigation and the right side is where content will display. When the user first goes into the Talent Management Work Center, they will see content provided by the Talent Task Force. This content is configurable and can be course at any time. As mentioned, on the left side are various menu items for the soldier. Soldier can click their profile, which will display content items associated to their profile. Soldier talent profile is meant for the ERB slash ORB. Marketplace, where a soldier can go into the open marketplace and search for job openings and apply, as well as if they're associated with the closed marketplace, which is the replacement for AIM2, they can set their preferences. Job openings menu items allows a soldier to view any job openings that they're currently associated with. When clicking the My Profile, a new window will spawn. As mentioned, the My Profile will display the 25 point profile of content types and content items associated with that soldier. For example, when selecting Branch, we can see that this soldier is part of the Infantry Basic Branch. When selecting job code, we can see that this soldier's AOC is infantry. Other content types associated with the 25 point profile are skills, qualifications, physical profiles, education, experience, awards, performance, assignment information, self-professed benefits, aviation and accessions. The profile allows a soldier to view their content types and items associated as well as make modifications pending configuration. Future demonstrations will review in further detail the person profile. Upon selecting the soldier talent profile, also known as STP, a new window will also be generated. This will display the soldier's photo and information about that soldier pulled in from trans as well as the person profile to include assignment information. There's a front and a back. The STP will also be discussed in further demonstrations. Marketplace. There are two options for the soldier uh, work center, the open marketplace and the closed marketplace preferences. Closed marketplace preferences. When selected, will redraw the right pane. If the soldier is associated with the market, which is based on their YMAV, the market ID will default. Labels, labels which are provided by HRC for the soldier, which indicate which kinds of assignments they should go to, will. There's a label filter, which allows the soldier to input any kind of filter and display only those job openings that have those labels below. The grid displays the job openings that are related to that market. If we were to put vehicular into the filter and click filter, we will only see those job openings related to vehicular. As mentioned, these are the job openings associated with this market that the soldier can preference. Only job openings that the soldier can preference will display. Job openings come from SFARS as well as the unit and HRC can manually add positions uh, to create job openings for it to be put into the marketplace. The grid displays information about each job opening to include labels that HRC sets. To the right of labels, you'll see preference. This is where the soldier can set the preference of which assignments they would like to go to. Set the preference of one, preference of two, preference of three, 
preference of three. The soldier will not be able to duplicate the same preference, meaning you can't set a, a, a preference of one for two different job openings. To the right of preferences, the soldier can see whether the unit has expressed interest in that soldier. The green check mark means that the unit has preference the soldier for that job opening. To the right of unit interested, you'll see applicants preference column. This indicates to the soldier that how many other applicants have preferenced that job opening that they will be competing against. Percent match is, is a tool that allows a soldier to see how well they match up against that position. Algorithms are, are executed that take the person profile and match it against the non-person profile, which is the position attributes, and comes up with a score. Those position attributes are what come over from AOS. If I select the 100, we'll redraw this window, and it will show on the left side the attributes associated with the position, and on the right side, the soldier. As you can see, we have a match for, for each criteria. If I were to select the 75% match, you'll see that I don't, this soldier does not match the top secret security clearance. The soldier is also able to view job opening details by clicking the icon. This is a one stop shop that shows all information related to the job opening. The soldier can also view posting details. This is information about the UIC and about the position. This information can be configured by the unit <clears throat> to provide more information to the soldier to indicate why they should uh, pick this UIC or more information about this UIC and more information about the position. Upon setting preferences, the soldier can save. The soldier preferences along with the unit preferences are used as part of the slating algorithms, the auto slate, which will set the soldier to the position as part of the closed marketplace. Next, we'll go to the open marketplace. The open marketplace allows us allows each soldier to go in and search for any job opening that is deemed part of the open marketplace, meaning not part of the closed marketplace and not part of the restricted marketplace. As you can see, there are several search criteria, so we will put in Army Active Business Unit. We will search for Captain Positions. And we will search for 11 series. What is returned is a list of job openings that are in the open marketplace that fit that search criteria. If the soldier would like to apply for the position. They can simply select and click apply. The grid displays information about the job opening. And to the right, you get the job opening details as shown in the closed marketplace. As well as job posting details. As mentioned, this is configurable by the unit for the UIC and position. Soldier can also compare their profile against the position to see how well they match up by selecting the job opening and clicking compare. Here you can see there are they are a 100% match. The soldier would like to apply. They simply select the job opening and click apply. Upon cl clicking apply, a message will be shown to the user for confirmation that they would like to apply and be considered for this assignment. When clicking yes, if they pass all eligibility rules, then a message will indicate that they have successfully been processed and linked to the job opening. 
if they fail eligibility rules, then a message will be displayed to the user of, as to why they are not able to apply to the job opening. An example would be if I search for Army Active, I put a different grade and Pearl, and I did a search. This soldier is currently a captain. Selected this job opening. Clicked apply. Upon clicking yes, it will execute those eligibility rules and it will tell the soldier exactly why they are unable to submit for this job opening. They failed eligibility rules. Service member must be equal to one grade below or one grade above the position. They also failed the rule that their AOC. The AOC of the job opening is 051Z and the service member is 011A. Last, we will go to my current job openings. My current job openings is a list of job openings that are associated to this soldier. As you can see, they were not selected for this job opening. The offer was rejected for this job opening or the soldier rejected the job opening. This job opening the soldier has applied to, which we just saw in the open marketplace. So that's why that's there. And then 1153. An offer has been extended. This will now allow the soldier to either accept or reject. To the right, you see the same icons that we saw earlier. Where we can view the job opening details. Or we can view posting details. Again, as mentioned, the unit will configure information about the UIC and the position, which will always display. The soldier can then determine whether they want to accept or reject. We will accept. And save. The soldier is the, the job opening has now been updated to indicate that the soldier has accepted. And now the branch manager and or HRC will go in and execute rules and submit for further processing. That concludes the demonstration of the soldier talent management work center.